My name's John, and in this video presentation, I'll show you how to migrate one user and then transition into batch mode for multiple users uh, using variables. You'll use the same interface of Transcend Migrator. What you see here is uh, Transcend Migrator, and we'll focus on the email tab. Select what you're converting from on the drop down selection list, and I'm going to choose the IMAP4 server, and let's migrate into Exchange Outlook. I'll use this account. And on this side, let's type in the source account information. An account, um, J McKay, password. Now this user is ready to migrate. If you press single migration, um, then this one user's email will migrate um, to the target server. To transition into batch mode, all we want to do, all we have to do is look at what's going to change on this screen and, and assign a variable to it. Uh, for example, what's going to change is the username, uh, the password, and the target account. And right now I'm using the Outlook profile and I'll go ahead and just use a different syntax that says go ahead and go to this Exchange server and then use a specific um, account name um, so that I don't have to use the profiles for people. So uh, username, password, and profile would change into, into variables. And let's define those variables on the batch mode data table. Notice right here, these column headers are variables. Um, they're named dollar sign bar one all the way through dollar sign bar eight. My source source accounts will be uh, J McKay um, password uh, target account if it's different. This is uh, Jeff dot McKay, and maybe one more other account. How about um, oh, F Cref Fats? Same password and hopefully that account exists on the target. Press OK. Now, now that I know what the variables are, I'll just assign this dollar sign var 1. This is dollar sign var 2. This is my server name. Bam, bam, and then dollar sign var 3. This is enabled. I'm ready to start a batch migration. It tells me two users will, will migrate, and the migration begins, the migration monitor pops up, and I could also increase the number of concurrent migrations so that I don't have to wait for both of them to finish one at a time. Right now this is checking to see if I have a target account called Fred Crofetz existing in the target system. Unfortunately I do. I wasn't sure about that. The migration is happening. Uh, Trends and Migrate will go through um, each account and migrate all the data over. Right now we're just focusing on email so you're, you're only going to see the results for email. If you wanted to do the same thing that we did with variables on the other sections, you would go ahead and um, set up uh, the address books, calendars, and tasks with variables, enable, and decide whether you want to migrate those um, items at the same time as email or separately, and then perform your batch migration. It's that simple to transition from single user migration into a batch migration using variables. A lot of people will um, instead of just typing that variable information or the user information in that table that we looked at, um, if you want, you can uh, you know, put that information into an Excel spreadsheet, save it as a CSV file, and then import it into that grid. That's probably the easiest way to do it, especially if you're doing uh, migrating a lot of users. Well, it looks like our migration is about complete. Uh, when it's finished, it's going to show up a little status. It'll show you a quick report of what happened. You can press OK to that, OK, and then you're done. That was how you transition from a single user migration using variables and uh, begin a batch user um, migration. Um, thank you for watching.